For the 106 project, I contributed finding the correct motor as well as the motor driver. We decided to go with the stepper motor because the first motor we got was a DC motor and while it was more linear, we soon realized that it is not the correct motor for positioning. And the second requirement was have finding a motor that was the correct stall torque. The first motor had a stall torque of 250 ounces and due to the weight of the mechanism it was too low. So the new stepper motor was 450 ounces. And we decided to go with the motor driver that's used in lab and by looking at the specs it was able to hold the current and the voltage that our stepper motor needed. Uh, for this project, uh, we decided that a gyroscope would be best for to use for the sensor. And but I never using a gyroscope, I actually never had experience in it. But the Adafruit website helped me because uh, they had libraries and example codes that I could look at. From here, I was able to dissect the code and get what I actually wanted, which was the function that got positioned. From using that code, I got I was able to get the y direction of here and here, and that's all we really wanted. And the code that I just made the motor move clockwise or kind of clockwise depending on what position it was. For my part of the uh, project for 106, I worked on the code for mapping the potentiometer and working with the three switches that we have for the user interface and an automatic interface that we have. Um, as we had said before, to indicate that if the mechanism was in uh, manual mode, the LED would be off and if it was in user mode, the LED would be on. And mapping that with uh, in conjunction with the switches, uh, we were able to achieve that part of the project. Um, the part that I learned about this project, it was really important to write individual programs for individual functions and then start combining them slowly and troubleshooting as you went.